Last month, State Bank of Pakistan went against the market expectations of status quo and announced a 100 basis point hike in the policy rate to 16%. It was done in response to the inflationary pressures which have been proven to be stronger and more persistent than expected. In his piece for Don's Business and Finance Weekly, Ali Atha writes that for too long, Pakistan has relied solely on monetary policy to control demand and inflation, to cool down the heated economic activities. However, the inflation we are facing is rather cost-push inflation, which is not effectively addressed by monetary policy. Short-term yields are already close to 16%, which indicates that the hike is already priced in by the secondary market. Thus, the impact of monetary tightening should stay muted as yield might not surge a lot. When we know that inflation is not demand pull, it makes interest rates an ineffective tool. And if the demand has already decreased, it has freezed pressure on import bills. Plus, the monetary easing is inevitable six months down the road. So then, where is the need for tightening? Moreover, this high inflation period is transitory. And once the base effect starts to kick in, inflation is expected to enter the single-digit zone from June 23rd and onwards. And then even a 10% interest rate will result in positive real rates, which is just two quarters away. So then, can we not develop a targeted strategy to reduce import bills on an emergency basis? Possibly by restricting the completely built unit imports of the auto sector, cutting energy electricity consumption by imposing full or partial work from home, early market closures and slashing any non-essential imports that do not impact our exports and survival. We need to have a targeted short-term policy to reduce imports on an emergency basis until we secure financing and work on medium to long-term policies to curb the trade deficit on a sustainable basis.